Hello, I'm Paul. In this tutorial, I'll explain how to download and install SpeechOver Professional, and how to locate the SpeechOver commands in PowerPoint. To download SpeechOver Pro, go to the SpeechOver site, www.speechover.com, click the free trial menu item, and click the version of PowerPoint you are using. Clicking the menu item takes you to the sign up page, where you fill out your basic information. Based on this information, we will send you a series of emails with tips for making your trial more productive, and a discount code. Read important information about the confirmation email you will receive after signing up, and how to click the link in it, to receive your benefits. Also, make sure you are using the 32-bit version of Office. Click on the Click to Download button to start the download. The download dialog appears. Choose Save, and not Run or Open. Select a folder to save the product file in, for example, CTemp. When the save is complete, open the folder, locate the file in the folder, and double-click on the file to begin the product installation process. Click Setup to proceed with the installation. During the installation process you will get a registration screen that allows you to choose a 30-day free trial. In addition to installing SpeechOver, the installer will also install the premium TTS voice a cappella Heather. Hi, I'm Heather. After you've installed SpeechOver Professional, you find its commands and controls inside PowerPoint. Note. If PowerPoint was open when you installed SpeechOver, you will need to close PowerPoint and reopen it again to activate SpeechOver. For PowerPoint 2007 and 2010, open PowerPoint and SpeechOver will appear on the ribbon. In addition, when you click on the add-ins ribbon item, you see the SpeechOver toolbar. For PowerPoint 2003, SpeechOver appears on the main PowerPoint menu, and the toolbar appears with the other toolbars. Since it is an add-in to PowerPoint, you will not find a program icon for SpeechOver on the desktop. After installing SpeechOver, it may not appear on the ribbon. There can be several reasons, we look at them, one by one, and see how to correct them. The first reason is that you need to install SpeechOver with administrator privileges. Uninstall SpeechOver from the control panel, and install it again, this time by right-click on the exe file, and select, Run as Administrator. The second reason is that PowerPoint has disabled the SpeechOver add-in. The next slide explains how to enable it. The third reason is the DEP. Subsequent slides explain how to disable the DEP. PowerPoint has disabled the SpeechOver add-in, and you need to manually enable it. Proceed as follows. Click File, Options, or PowerPoint Options for 2007. Add-ins, Manage Com Add-ins, Go. The Com Add-in screen appears. The SpeechOver Add-in appears as PowerPoint Add-in. If it is not checked, check it and click OK. SpeechOver should appear the next time you open PowerPoint. Another PowerPoint mechanism that can prevent SpeechOver from running is the DEP. To disable the DEP, press File, Options, Trust Center, Protected View, and uncheck Enable Data Execution Prevention. In the Registry Editor, change load behavior from 2 to 3 as shown here. The path is at the bottom. To start the Registry Editor, click the Start button and interregate it. Exit PowerPoint and restart. For more information about issues that prevent SpeechOver from appearing on the ribbon, see the SpeechOver forum on our site www.speechover.com under the support menu item.